Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a basically August 15th through the 31st. This is the end of August. Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, this reading is really, you know, a message from my guides. We're just going to see what comes up. This may or may not be from you or, or for you. <laughs> Sorry. This may or may not be for you. Let's see what we got for Sagittarius. For the end of August. This is the one we're going to take. It flew out and it landed way over here. You know, I kind of saw that coming because before I started, I thought I should clean up my side area because a card was going to fly. But I didn't. I was going to show it to you when it flew. <laughs> right before I started your reading, I was sitting here and I said, oh, I should clean that up because I think a card is going to fly. Big mess over here, okay? And uh, here we go. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Flying. Flying. You guys may be flying. You may be um, moving really fast. Something could happen out of the blue just like that. If if you sense something is going to happen, don't ignore it because it's probably going to happen. Okay? Um, healer of the ages. I would call this God or a higher power. Um, this is a healing. This is uh, being divinely guided. See, the chest is Ill illuminated. So I feel like you guys are, you're healing. I feel like you're being enlightened. Um, you're receiving guidance from above. You have a divine connection. It's like there's a higher power that is protecting you. They're with you, they're guiding you, they're helping you. So keep that in mind. Maybe you're becoming a healer. Maybe you're a healer. Maybe maybe you're being given the gift. Maybe you have the gift and you need to realize that you have this gift. Maybe you're a new age healer and you don't even know it. Maybe you do. Well, we're going to have to take that one. It is safe for you to love, open your heart, to give and receive the highest energy of all. And this is the highest energy of all. This is a God-given gift. It's safe. It's safe for you to open your heart. It is. It is. Maybe somebody needs your help. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, you have a higher power, you have a higher power that is guiding you, it's like they've given you some sort of gift, and I, that, I feel very strongly about that, and I felt very strongly that that card was going to go flying, so maybe you're going to go flying, maybe you're going to even schedule some travel, that's what just came to mind, but maybe, you know... You're breaking free from something. You're starting with a clean slate. You think about flying. I think about the Fool card, okay? Because the Fool, you know, is about flying. Basically, freedom. Just breathe. This is the Four of Swords. Just breathe. Take a break. Take, take all the time you need to heal to go within, to harness your powers, obviously you're being given some sort of power or you have some sort of God-given gift, whatever that is. Um, maybe you need to take a break to connect with your divine self. Maybe that's what the end of this month is about, healing, healing yourself so that you can heal other people. No. Sagittarius, end of August. Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Sagittarius? Break time. It's time to work on your spiritual self by the looks of things. 
Nine of Swords reversed, extremely exhausted, worried. You do need to heal. You need to take a break. I feel like you guys have been thinking too much. You've been, maybe you, maybe you have some regrets. Maybe you have this sense that you are dealing with somebody that doesn't have good intentions and you're worried about it. You know, if you're worried that somebody doesn't have good intentions, trust your gut. Trust your gut. You know. Elder of Swords. This is the King of Swords reversed. So this is abuse, neglect. Um... You could be doing a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that doesn't treat you very well, makes you feel guilty, brings you down. I'm just saying it could be. doesn't have to be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but we have a lot of swords here. Okay, so you're definitely overthinking. You're thinking a lot. Maybe you're abusing yourself. Maybe you're neglecting yourself. Anyway, two of swords. It's like you're, you're refusing to see something, okay? And it's funny, too. i got to tell you that while I was shuffling, before I, any of these cards came out, I kept on looking at Archangel Michael over here. And I kept, as I was shuffling, okay, and I was thinking about the demon there, pushing down those demons. And I was looking at the demon. I was looking at the foot on his head, pushing those demons down, okay? You know, it takes a lot of faith to face your demons. So keep that in mind. You guys are like pushing away people that are unhealthy for you or are needing to or something like that. And you notice this is kind of like a demon, you know, behind you. You know, it's like there's something that you are refusing to see. You may be blocking the truth, you know, blocking, um, blocking the truth. Six of Cups reversed. This is clinging to the memories, clinging to something, clinging to the past. There could be something from your childhood that is affecting you. Um, five of Swords reversed. Oh my God. Six of Swords. Moving on. Moving away from the trouble. Moving away from the destruction. You got to move away. You got to move away. You do. It feels like you have been belittled. You have been um, disrespected. You've been in a lose-lose situation where it's been a constant power struggle. You know, it's been a constant battle, a constant fight. Your challenge is moving on. You know, you have to, you just have to go. You just have to go unless you want to, you know, get hurt. Some of you are in a very, very abusive situation or you have been in an abusive situation. And I think that your gut is telling you you are being divinely guided. You know, it's time to heal. It's time to go. It's time to move away. It's time to stop, you know, dealing with this. It's time to stop fighting. It's, it is. I mean, the Five of Swords, this is a constant battle, okay? Um, the Hierophant reversed. And you could kind of call this like the Hierophant. Lack of faith. Not believing in yourself. Hmm. Not listening to your inner guide. Not listening to you, the higher power. You better start listening. Seven of Cups. You have options. You have choices. Okay? Choose wisely. What you own, owns you. It's, you, need to, you need to take a time out, obviously. You need to meditate. You need to take time to think, to go within, to breathe. To breathe, okay? Take time to breathe and, and quiet yourself so that the answers that you seek will come to you. I see that a lot of you need to go somewhere. You need to move on. It's, it's time for you to make this transition. To take this passage. To stop avoiding The truth, this is the novice of swords. I'd call this the queen of swords. So it's, and she's got the truth, the whole truth. I mean, and she's got the truth in her hand. She's got the ace of swords in her hand, which is the truth. You know, it's time for you to look at things from a new perspective. You need to be open-minded. Um, 
be honest with yourself about something. You are avoiding the truth about something. I think it has to do with a commitment or some sort of, it could have to do with your job. It could have to do with where you work. It could have to do with um, your faith. You know, there's a lack of faith here. A lack of faith in what you know. A lack of faith in listening to your gut. I'm telling you right now. You know. You're probably an old soul. This is like an old soul type of energy. It's like you know. You know something. And you need. You probably know that you need to make a different choice. But making that choice may involve, you know, severing ties with somebody. And that's the challenge. Please listen. There's been an injustice here. I mean, the, the justice card reversed. There's an injustice. There's been some unfair treatment. You could be dealing with a Libra. I do see a strong air energy here. So, not sure if it's a Libra, but there's definitely some strong energy, air energy here. I think that you've been treated unfairly. I feel like you have been dealing with somebody who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. You know this. There could be a contract that you are in that could be a commitment contract, could be a marriage, could be a work contract that really isn't serving you and you need to really go within to decide um, what is the best move. You need to decide what is the best move. I feel like you, you, you've been avoiding some sort of transition and I think that you know. I think that you really, 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 really know what you need to do. I think that you have this this divine connection that is giving you the answers. And it's just like you're not listening. Um, I think there's a contract here that um, you need to sever ties with. Whether it's a marriage contract or it's a work contract or whatever it is. It's some sort of contract that isn't good for you. Okay. You need to reevaluate it completely. Um, nine, uh, or from, why did I say nine? Four of pentacles reversed. This is, it's time for you to open up. You need to let go of your fear. You need to relax. You really, 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 really need to relax. It feels like you're trying to do too much. Two of wands reversed. You're restricting yourself. There's a, there's definitely some indecisiveness here. Fear of the unknown is big. It's big. I think that you guys have been choosing the safest option because it's what you know. No, you need to face your fears. God is with you. You have a higher power guiding you. Follow your heart, please. Please. I think wherever you're at, it's, it's draining you. Elemental of Wands. It's time to take action. Stop thinking about it and just do it. Just do it. Wherever you're at, there's not a lot of happiness. You're not feeling a peace. You know, you're not feeling peace. You're probably not being really supported by your family. You know, there's not a lot of... Um, Joy and happiness, wherever you're at. And there could be a relationship. Obviously, there's a relationship that needs to be dealt with. There's this. It's like, there's, there's issues. There could be issues at home. It's like you're blocking your own spiritual blessings. You have to move on. You have to get, you see that six of swords. You have to get the hell out of there. Burn that bridge. I feel like you're, somebody is having relationship problems because they're not taking action. You have to know your worth. Elder of Wands. This is the uh, King of Wands. This is take action right now. Find the strength. Find the confidence. Find the courage. This is you. Take back control of this situation. Take back control of your life. Make a decision and stick to it. I feel like there's a lot of wisdom here. And if you you have the opportunity to create whatever you want, you have the skills. You have the knowledge. 
You have the wisdom. You have the ability to take ownership of whatever this situation is. Ace of Wands reversed. This is lack of energy, lack of drive, lack of ambition. You have to create. You have to look at, you have to get creative. You could even start your own business. But it's going to take ambition. I feel like there's a lack of excitement here. You you have the ability to take action right now. But it's going to take getting creative, coming up with a new vision, and taking action. So I feel like the end of August is about... You know, you can't keep avoiding this. We have somebody here that has been avoiding a transition with this right next right, right next to it is the six of swords, avoiding it. But you are a very wise individual who has a lot of spiritual knowledge, knowledge in other areas as well. I think that you have the skills, you have divine guidance, you have the opportunity to choose a different option, but I think that we have a lot of indecisiveness as of knowing that, you know, you will have to sever ties with somebody that you probably have some memories with. Maybe you grew up with this person, could be a parent, could be a sibling, could be a child, I don't know who it is, but whoever it is, there's some sort of lack of faith or lack of believing that you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. We have the tower on the bottom. This is change. Massive change. Universal change. It's time for a change. It's time for you to shed. It's time for you to to let it fall. Let it crumble. So that you can rebuild someplace else. This has to do with your foundation. It has to do with your home or your family. Or even your body. There is some kind of structure that needs a drastic change. And it's time. You can't avoid it forever. It biting, Just biting this time, all it's going to do is cause more depression and anxiety. I think it's time. It's time for you to walk away. Walk away. So you have the universe, you have God, you have angels on your side. I feel like you have a connection and you can't avoid this anymore. It is time for you to believe in yourself, take a new approach, take action, stop thinking, get creative, get moving. And that is my advice for the end of September. Some of you will actually be moving that six of swords good luck